This lesson will cover the following topics: BIC interconnection units, links between computers, multiplexing. The BIC interconnection units have two main functions: electricity distribution and electronic management of certain functions. Depending on the vehicle model and equipment level, there are various BIC interconnection units. Most vehicles have two BIC interconnection units: a passenger compartment BIC interconnection unit. Located in the passenger compartment, and an engine BIC interconnection unit located in the engine compartment. A BIC interconnection unit can contain a number of replaceable fuses. Some vehicles have several BIC interconnection units performing the fuse and relay functions. Relays cannot always be replaced by themselves. They may be dependent on the BIC interconnection unit. The BIC interconnection unit can perform electronic management of certain functions. Depending on the vehicle model and equipment level, the functions managed are different. When replacing a BIC interconnection unit, it must be configured in relation to the vehicle. This configuration depends on the following factors: installation of certain fuses and relays, installation of certain electrical shunts, and configuration with the diagnostic tool. In this chapter, we covered the following points. The BIC interconnection units have two main functions: electricity distribution. And electronic management of certain functions. Depending on the vehicle model and equipment level, there are various BIC interconnection units. Most vehicles have two BIC interconnection units: a passenger compartment BIC interconnection unit and an engine BIC interconnection unit. A BIC interconnection unit. Can contain a number of replaceable fuses. Relays cannot always be replaced by themselves. The BIC interconnection unit can perform electronic management of certain functions. Depending on the vehicle model and equipment level, the functions managed are different. When replacing a BIC interconnection unit, it must be configured in relation to the vehicle. On modern vehicles, several systems may need the same information, such as the vehicle speed. It is not necessary to use a sensor for each system. The information need merely be exchanged between the computers. In a link between computers, the computer that needs information generates a potential. The computer that supplies the information. Earths this potential in the form of a signal. The computer that needs the information measures the voltage on the wire and deduces the signal from it. Communication is one way. Various signals are used. The signal changes depending on the type of information to be transmitted. In this chapter, we covered the following points. On modern vehicles, several systems may need the same information, such as the vehicle speed. The computer that needs the information generates a potential. The computer that supplies the information earths this potential in the form of a signal. The signal changes depending on the type of information to be transmitted. The quantity of electronic systems on vehicles is increasing. The quantity of information to be exchanged is increasing too.
the number of links required for these exchanges is likewise increasing. Multiplexing allows numerous information items to be transferred over a given electrical link. The multiplex electrical network, called a bus, consists of two wires, called H and L. These two wires are twisted, as shown by this symbol, to avoid the appearance of interference. The same electrical signals are transmitted over the two wires but in reverse direction. On the multiplex network, communication is multidirectional. The communications protocol used on Renault vehicles is the CAN. All the computers are transmitters and receivers. The information exchanged is sent periodically or when an event occurs. A vehicle can contain several multiplexed networks. A main network, to which are connected most of the vehicle's computers, and so-called private network, which concern only certain computers. Satisfactory operation of a CAN-type multiplex network requires that terminating resistors be used. These resistors enable the signals to be stabilised. The network has two terminating resistors of 120 ohms each, incorporated in two computers. These resistors are connected in parallel in the circuit, giving it a resistance of 60 ohms. The location of the terminating resistors varies depending on the vehicle. Upon selection of a vehicle having a multiplex network, the diagnostic tool requires that this network checked. If it is impossible to carry out this check correctly, then there is a serious electrical problem. Following checking of the multiplexed network, the diagnostic tool indicates the problems detected on a diagram. On certain vehicles, the diagnostic tool queries the computers connected via the K diagnostic line. The computers exchange test signals with one another over the multiplex network. The computers then send their results to the diagnostic tool via the K diagnostic line. The diagnostic tool displays the results of the checks on various screens. On those vehicles in which the multiplex network is connected to the diagnostic socket, the diagnostic tool queries the computers directly. If some computers do not reply, it deduces a failure from this. Some computers cannot be diagnosed. Not all vehicles have all the computers. The list of computers present is stored in memory in two computers. These computers may be different depending on the vehicle. Configuration is carried out using the diagnostic tool. Incorrect configuration causes diagnostic errors, but not vehicle dysfunctions. The multiplexed network can be repaired by complying with the methods in the technical documentation. The multiplexed network is very sensitive to the quality of connections and the length of wires. In this chapter, we covered the following points. Multiplexing allows numerous information items to be transferred over a given electrical link. The multiplex electrical network, called a bus, consists of two wires, called H and L. On the multiplex network, communication is multidirectional. The communications protocol used on Renault vehicles is the CAN. A vehicle can contain several multiplexed networks, a main network and so-called private networks. Satisfactory operation of a CAN-type multiplexed network requires that terminating resistors be used. Upon selection of a vehicle having a multiplexed network, the diagnostic tool requires that this network checked.